I think I was born about 15 or 20 years too late. Um, I was really, and I still am actually, completely obsessed with things like the design of racing cars, uh, you know, like the, the beautiful ways that you can, you can harness the power of nature and use it to your advantage. I think there's something so gorgeous in that. But unfortunately, by the time I got there, all of the equations had been put into code already. You know, all of the all of the like really beautiful maths um, as I wanted to do. I, you know, I sort of imagined there'd be people on like chalkboards coming up with equations, and it really wasn't. It was just like, you know, doing runs on your computer, and then realised that actually using those same ideas, like that theoretical training. Um, but uh, using the mathematics to look at patterns in human behaviour, and that was really incredibly enticing. So, I mean, I think you have to be a kind of bit careful, right? You have to remember that when you are using maths and physics and, and whatever, data and computer science, to understand human behaviour, you are not looking at a physical system, right? You are, you are looking at something that has individuals with autonomy, right? Like rich and varied lives. So for example, right, in London where I live, I couldn't tell if, um, you know, my neighbour was going to go into work one morning or not, right? I couldn't make that prediction. I couldn't make a prediction about what time they might jump on the tube, the underground. But when you kind of scale out to the size of an entire city, actually you can make really, really accurate predictions about how many people overall will choose a certain path, will, will pick a particular route, and if something changes, how the whole population might end up reacting. I mean, look, if you like cut me open, I am nerd all the way through to my core, okay? And that was only ever my ambition. And so I just came to the conclusion that I was just gonna have one year where whatever opportunities came along, I would just say yes and just see what ended up happening. And then essentially it was just like a, a, a series of events that conspired in my favor, I guess, or so like a snowball effect that, you know, ultimately led me to this room sitting in front of you. The two, the two techniques that I try and live my life by are, um, is one, regret minimization, right? So, you know, uh, which, which one, which path, given the information you have now, which, which path will you regret the least? And then the second one, I think, is being micro-ambitious. Like, I don't think that you can have a grand plan because I think that there are so many factors that you can't take into account. And so I think that the best thing you can do um, in the words of that great philosopher, Anna from Frozen 2. Um, all you can do is the next right thing, right? And I, but, I, but I really do believe in that philosophy.